Hey, welcome back. 624 here on your Thursday. We're on to the stories that are trending now. I love this one. A newborn's getting ready for a night out on the town all from her hotel room looking for some uh, womb service. Get it? So let's check in and see how that's going. <laughs> That's pretty much what I look like when I wake up, by the way. Unicorn chair slippers are um, also, it's a good look, right, Scott? I think, Caitlin, it looks just like you. I know, it's amazing. right? amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dash. Dash, the, Dash likes to crash my forecast, as you know, uh, just about every single time. But take a look at what happened to Lonnie Quinn. He's a, uh, a weather guy in uh, CBS in New York. He had a very special visit from his daughters as he did the weather from home earlier this week. Lily and Savvy wanted to say hi to everybody. Come here, Savvy. You're, you're too little, Savvy. They're not going to see you down there. <laughs> All right. Say hi, say hi to Maurice hi. and KJ and everybody. There you go. Oh, here we go, guys. We're going to step this way, leave you at 54 degrees, mostly cloudy, <laughs> with a chance for shower. Lily, we got to exit. Exit, Lil. This way. Other way. Oh, boy. <laughs> Fun fact, Lonnie Quinn. Lonnie Quinn is born right here in Cheshire, Connecticut. So thanks for that, Lonnie. That was pretty funny. And fun fact, apparently he has a green screen at his house. That's pretty cool. You need to, I um, guess so. You need to right? get on the phone, Scott. <laughs> and a very exactly. special mom from South Windsor turned 85 years old on Monday, and she wasn't alone to celebrate her big day. Take a look. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday you. to you. Cake looks delicious too. We want to wish Anita Schmidt a very happy birthday. Her daughter Thora kept a safe distance during the celebration and she was able to watch her mom blow out all the candles so she know that her wish will come true. Well, I know a lot of people had an eye to the sky earlier this week as jets from the Navy's Blue Angels and the Air Force's Thunderbirds flew over New York City on Tuesday to pay tribute to healthcare workers. And have you seen the cockpit footage? It's breathtaking. Look at this. I'd like to be that close to another jet. Both branches of the military say they were honored to salute all the frontline workers. The flyover fulfills training requirements for the pilots who have seen many of their performances canceled since the virus's outbreak. Pretty amazing. We'll be back with more news, weather, and traffic coming up next.